Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-15E Strike Eagle and I've been challenged to do an air-to-air -air refueling. So let's just give it a go. First, we've got a bit too much fuel in our jet and so I want to dump some fuel. So to do that, fuel dump switch, we will dump some fuel out of the right wing. Once enough has gone, that's probably enough, that's about 25% internal fuel now gone, back to normal. Next, we've got a finder tanker. Let's use our TACAN, Tactical Air Navigation. We need to find which channel the tanker is on, so left, alt and bravo. And we can see here, tanker, TACAN, 19, x-ray, call sign, TKR. Let's uh, use our TACAN. This is not a TACAN tutorial, but we're just going to use it. So, on our scratch pad, type 1, nine and assuming we're on in our base ufc menu press there tacan tacan is now turned on and switched to 19 x-ray let's get some more information on that there we can change between x-ray and yankee there and we want x-ray we can turn it off and on there and we can choose between air to air transmit receive and receive only we want transmit receive next we're going to go to our hsi on our right mpd so menu hsi zoom in a bit and pause we can see we are there facing that way and our tacan station that's been picked up is there information about the tacan stations at the bottom left tacan 19 x-ray from us 060 degrees for 15.2 nautical miles at current speed an estimated time of arrival of 2 minutes and 14 seconds we want to go to tacan steering mode so unpause box tacan there. We now also have the range in the HUD at 14.6 nautical miles. There is much more symbology for the TACAN to come in this early stage. We're just going to use the HSI to navigate. Put it in a 12 o'clock position and then use the range in the HUD to get to the tanker and we can actually see it there off our nose. Now we're visual with the tanker. We will just fast forward to get there in fact let's use a radio call this is not a radio tutorial so i've just used easy comms in the settings so press communication menu tanker intend to refuel He's told me to get to 17,000 feet and 350 knots airspeed and meet him there. So let's go and do that. Speed up. Right, we do have wake turbulence turned on in this, so it's going to be a little bumpy and jumpy, but that's how it will be in real life. So let's just deal with it. Right, when we're in about this position here, we're going to press F1 for ready pre-contact. Ready pre-contact. Clear contact. Okay, that was first time lucky. If he refuses a clear contact, then we'll just have to get in a better position and retry. So next we need to open our IFR, which is here. One right click to open. Our door will open. The cancel our speed brake, which I've just realised we've left on. Once the door is open and we are ready to refuel, we'll have the ready light shown there. Next, we're going to move into position behind the tanker. He's moving a bit far, so it's going to be a bit choppy, but we will manoeuvre exclusively based on the advisory lights at the bottom front of the tanker. Seeing those lights can be a challenge. The F-15A bow is just the wrong height for it. So we've got to get ourselves in a comfortable position to see them. I'll explain them when we can. Right, air brake, I believe, is off. Let's try and see those lights. Two strip lights. The left one is our up and down position and wants to be in the middle. I want to maneuver so it's in the middle. The right one is the forwards and backwards and I also want to put that in the middle so it's telling me to go up at the moment. In fact, put my controls back on so you can see them at the bottom there. He, uh, the boom operator, will then put the boom into my door. Just trying to get myself right position okay too far forward is what it's telling me now, as you can see seeing the lights is half the position in fact I'm going to pause there and see if I can move my seat up aha uh -huh. what I've done there is right shift right control it's allowed me to kind of move my seat up I'm also going to zoom my screen in a bit so that should hopefully make it a bit easier 
Let's try that. I'm taking fuel. When I am taking fuel, the ready light goes off on the left upper of the bow. Uh, it's already feeling a lot easier now. So, lesson learned there. Move your head into a position. VR, it's going to be slightly different, obviously. You'd actually get to move your real head. Track out, it's a bit different. Transfer rate, I think, is 6,000 gallons a minute. Or is it pounds? No, 6,000 pounds a minute. Means we should be on the hose for about a minute and a half. I've got that right. On the boom. Okay, I'm getting settled now. really talk because it's taken all of my tiny brain power to do this. I would love to be able to look, I guess the Wizzo could look at the totalizer and tell me how it's going but I don't have one. It's going well Cap. Thank You're doing you, Simba job. Wimba, and confirm this is my first time proper run through. I will confirm that. Super cap. Man, this thing takes ages. How much fuel does this thing carry? Again, I'm pretty sure I'm plugged in, viewers, because there's no ready sign at the top left, so we'll just stick with it. It's one of these cases where it just seems to last forever because you're putting all of your energy into doing this. My one tip I always say is try to relax, but I can't even do that myself. I've got the most clenched buttocks in the world at the moment. Hey! Woo! Man, I'm happy about that. And start rubbing the sweat off. Uh, usually you would back off back and right, uh, the birds waiting will be on the left, the birds on the right will be refueled, I'm pretty sure I got that right. Close our door, there, uh, we're going to turn our TACAN off, there, back to main menu, uh, there. I think that's it guys, I think I've just refueled for the first time in a Strike Eagle, I'm pretty happy with that. That's the end of the video, but because we're Grim Reapers, why not? Let's buzz the man. Thank you for the gas. Hope that was useful and we'll see you later.